Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my tutorial on how to flash custom ROMs onto the Samsung Galaxy S3 i9-300. Uh, so guys, uh, you know, right now my phone is rooted and it has clockwork mode recovery installed on it. Uh, and this is the stock rooted ROM that I have. Uh, so, you know, in case your phone isn't rooted yet, look at it, I mean, uh, check out my description and I will have a link to my root tutorial so go ahead get your phone rooted and have clockwork mod running before you get to this part of the video alright so from this point on I'm gonna assume two things one you're a beginner to uh, flashing ROMs two uh, your phone is rooted and has clockwork mod recovery running so the reason I'm assuming that you're a beginner to uh, flashing ROMs is because I'm gonna explain stuff in detail so just putting it out there alright guys the first rule of thumb over here is uh, in all, in most cases, when you're flashing ROMs, uh, your you're gonna lose your data, uh, as in your media files, your MP3 files, your videos, your photos will remain, but your data like apps, uh, contacts, call logs, SMS will be deleted. This is in most cases. All right, if you're using a certain ROM, like for example, I'm gonna uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to flash the check ROM. So if you're using check ROM and you get an update to that ROM and if the developer specifically, specifically mentions it's a no wipe update, in that case, all your data will remain. But in most cases, when you flash a custom ROM, if you're moving from check ROM to Omega or if you're moving from Omega to check ROM, you will lose all your data. So this is the basics to flashing ROMs. All right. So now that we've got that out of the way, uh, over here, what you first do is connect your phone to the computer, download the ROM you want, it will be in the form of a zip file, transfer it to the internal or external SD card of your phone. So once you've done that, go ahead and hold the up volume, the power and home buttons. And before this, you can go ahead and back up your contacts, uh, you know, via Google Sync and so on. Uh, and so go, go ahead, up volume, power and home buttons. Keep holding them. You might end up taking a screenshot, but just keep holding it. Your phone will reboot. And you can let the keys go when you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed on screen. So this will take you into clockwork mod based recovery. So guys, the first thing you do over here. Okay, over here, the volume rockers will act as the navigation keys. And your home button will be the selection key. So first thing you do is go to wipe data factory set and hit the home button. Sorry, wipe data. Yep. And I've scrolled down again. Select yes, delete all data. And again, done. So this will take a few seconds. And I've go back up and I've select wipe cache partition and press the home key. Again, scroll down and hit the home key again. All right. And I've gone to advanced quickly and select wipe Dalvik cache and select yes wipe Dalvik cache okay now that's done go back and go to install zip from SD card and okay over here if you have your ROM on the internal SD card you're going to go ahead and select choose zip from internal SD card else you're going to choose zip from SD card so I've got it in the internal and over here, you select check ROM Evo HD. That's the ROM I'm going to be flashing right now. And select yes, install check ROM. And hit home. So guys, the thing here is, if you have check ROM, this version installed, and the next version is released by the developer, and the developer says it's a no wipe update. In that case, you will not be, uh, what do you say, you will not be wiping fa factory data, and you will not be wiping cache and Dalby cache. You will just go in, and select uh, install zip from SD card and flash the ROM. So as long as you're switching between ROMs or you're flashing a ROM that says wipe, you will be wiping all the data, the three wipes that I showed you. So those are the basics and now it's gonna take a few minutes for the ROM to get you know, flashed or installed. So uh, I'll just forward the video till then and I'll be back with you once the installation is done. Alright guys, right now the install from SD card is complete. So what you do is navigate down, hit go back and hit reboot system now. 
So guys, don't be worried. The first reboot always takes longer. So don't be worried if it takes a few minutes, takes even up to five minutes. Do not worry about it. Just wait. All right. Again, I'll forward the video. I'll be back with you once we're up and running. All right, guys. So we are up here. Uh, yep. So let me quickly be done with the initial setup. All right, so let me quickly show you. So here we are running Check ROM HD V 3.5. So that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to flashing custom ROMs on the Samsung Galaxy S3i9300. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section, or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, or you can email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. Uh, so, guys, the method that I've demonstrated to you right now it will work in 95% of the clear cases. So to hunt for new ROMs, you can head on over to XTA Developers Forum. And uh, uh, most of the ROMs will get installed this way. If the installation is in any way different, the developer would have given installation instructions. Or you can just uh, get back to me and leave a comment on this thread or you know hit me up on Facebook or Twitter asking me to make an installation video of any ROM if you find the installation difficult. and. Uh, I'll try my best to get that done for you. So that's pretty much it guys. Before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I will be coming out with more video videos for the S3. Uh, and if you guys want to do me a favor, use my links uh, to Amazon in the description. If there's anything you want to order online uh, and if you can order it off Amazon, use my link. I know it says S3 accessories. Go through the link, search for anything you want, purchase it. And if you make a, make a purchase, I tend to make from a few cents to a buck or buck or two at most so uh, you know uh, that is if you guys want to help me out so that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching uh, you guys have a great day bye bye now